Yo, 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 what's up? This is uh, our first episode or um, this podcast, Eminem Truck Shop. We don't know what it's going to be called. I thought of the name, um, what is it? Um, Big Rig Mauro or something like that. But uh, we're I here. I guess that's me. That's you. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, my name is Tony. I'm Mauro. And we run a diesel mechanic shop here in, um, in El Paso, Texas. Yeah, so pretty much our shop is called Eminem Truck Shop in El Paso. We're right off of Exit 37 and I 10. Everybody in the trucking business knows Exit 37. And um, we're pretty proud of it because it's a family business. Mm-hmm. And in, our dad started it. Yeah. And we he's been real successful, and we're fortunate to be part of the shop. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Grow, I remember growing up, and um, even since we were little in middle school, even I think elementary, we, it, it, a thing to do was to go help our dad, whether it was in the tractors or... Uh, when he used to work on the tractors, and then grow, uh, later when he uh, decided to go on his own, we would go and help him out, <laughs> help him help him out with whatever, whether whether it was sweeping or. Uh, I remember clearly washing those bolts, nuts and bolts. It was yeah. like torture, but now I think of it, and then I think it helped me out in a lot of things in my in life. Yeah, I mean that's the way that's the way that I spent um, my quality time with my dad, mm-hmm. and. Uh, we didn't think about it back then, but we were learning as we were going. Yeah, and I mean, and so was he, because he was <laughs> he he's a mechanic, but then he wasn't really into or knew a lot about business. He was just he was just working. He wasn't really like having a business and doing your job is kind of a different. Yeah, I mean, there there's actually doing the work, mm-hmm. and there's a business of the business. Yeah, and that's where our dad and us. I mean, we were just learning as we were going. Yeah. But just to go back a little bit, um, our dad started off as a mechanic mm-hmm. from when he was a kid. Yeah. He was a helper to a real... To another uh, mechanic. To another car mechanic. Yeah. And that's the way he started. And he just, um, I guess he, he did really well and he liked his job mm-hmm. after that. He broke off into the agricultural, mm-hmm. being a mechanic, a, a ranch hand, mm-hmm. in a place called Dell City, Texas. Dell and City, we, Texas. <laughs> we, uh, I, I really like Dell City. We used to have family over there. And yeah. if you're listening, what's up, Dell City? <laughs> so, but yeah, maybe we'll talk about that story some other time, uh, like that backstory, because there's a, so much to talk about as far as that. But today, I want to talk about uh, how do you pick your, if you were a truck driver, how would you pick your go-to shop? Whether it's in town or out of town, where you whether you're gonna search it, and there's little things that you look at and you're like, no, I'm not gonna stop here, or yeah, that's the one. Maybe it's like a small shop, but you just like the way they, the appearance of the shop, or or, or I, I don't know, what is it that well, you think? Helps? I think I think there's a few different things, like you were saying. I mean, if it's a local shop, or this applies whether it's a local shop or it's a not a town shop that you you're in a bind. And you need to get some work done. I think the number one thing is somebody recommends you the shop. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. Let's say somebody's been there before. They treated them right. The price was fair. They did good, good work. Mm-hmm. And you'll recommend them. And I, I think that's a real important part of choosing any service provider, yeah. whether what, it be a shop or something else. Yeah. What about like... Like when you say recommending, what about like reviews? You, do you ever look at that or do you think people, I know people look at that. Yeah. But there's just sometimes that people are going to be mean. They're, they're never going to, the, there's people that are never happy with anything. So they're always out to to <laughs> put their anger somewhere. That yeah. It, I mean, reviews, reviews. I look at reviews personally, whenever I'm going to go somewhere, mm-hmm. I'm going to buy something, you know, mm-hmm. when I'm going to spend some money and I'm not too sure on what brand to pick. And reviews are good. I mean, like I said, I use them myself, but you have to be conscious that there is going to be haters out there. Mm -hmm. Now, if all the reviews are negative, then pretty much, I mean... (laughs) That's going to tell you something. That's going to tell you a lot. Yeah. A lot about Mm -hmm. the business. And um, what's another good point? Uh, I think cleanliness. Yeah, like whenever you walk Cause, into cause, some business, you know, yeah, shops are, I mean, it's a... It's a dirty job. It's a dirty job, but you have to look at, I mean, 
I guess organization. Organization, more. you know, the appearance of the person. Because mm -hmm. I know our shop, we, we live in the desert, desert, so there's always dust everywhere. And no matter how much we sweep or clean up, there's always going to be dust. But you can see we're organized. Uh, is something so little as putting the toolboxes where they're supposed to go, putting um, gaskets where they're supposed to go, bolts. They, they, everything has a place. So I think, I think that tells a lot about not, not just a person but a business. Yeah, I mean, whenever the first impression, whenever you walk into our shop, you're going to notice that senior's right there, mm -hmm. and he's going to be working. I mean, he's answering the phone, he's tending to customers, mm -hmm. he's tending to mechanics. And um, one of the best compliments that I have, and I, I really, I'm really proud of it, is that, I mean... You're not gonna you're not gonna walk into our shop and there's gonna be a trash can full of beers, mm -hmm. a trash can full of uh, bottles and cigarette butts on the floor. Yeah. There's not gonna be any pictures of, not even um, swimsuit models, let alone um, topless models or whatever. Yeah, because yeah, a lot so, of shops are known for that. Or, yeah, <laughs> garage. I mean. You walk into a garage and you you expect to see that, but yeah. in our shop we're very careful about that, mm -hmm. and we have good taste. Mm -hmm. We we're open to the public, and one of the things that we take pride in our shop, I mean, whether my dad realizes it or not, is we we our customer base is very wide, and yeah. we we have a lot of women customers, yeah. and women customers come in and they feel comfortable. I mean, we treat them right. We don't disrespect them. We don't take advantage of them. Yeah, I and mean, also too, I've walked into other other mechanic shops and there's parts everywhere, oh, stacked yeah. up. And to me, it's just like, how, how do they even know what they're like? Where do they find their their wrench when they need it, or where do they found find the that certain bolt when they need it? Oh yeah, I mean, there's gonna be parts they took off and they're no more good. They're not good anymore, and they just set them somewhere mm -hmm. and they just. Never clean them up. They're, I mean, they're forever. People they're there trip. forever. And also, too, it's it's dangerous because it, it you can trip and you can hit something. But th those parts are big, and there's trucks. Yeah, it's a safety hazard. It's a I mean, safety hazard. And imagine a customer walks in and they trip, and now you're faced with a lawsuit or something like that. So yeah, yeah, I mean, I, it's 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 a problem. It's mm -hmm. a problem. I mean, what else? A, another thing that I I've noticed is like just being honest. Honest, because there's days that we're really, really packed and we can't take any more work. But I noticed my dad will, it's not that he doesn't take in the work, but he's honest. He's like, you know what, you 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 need to get this done, but you'll be good for another, you know, another round trip. Or, oh, yeah. So I, a lot of the times, things that make me trust certain either companies or products is when they're honest. They're not trying just to get the business, yeah. not trying to go after the money. I, I understand what you're saying. And it's like. Um, we'd rather be told the truth up front, whether it's not what we want to hear. Yeah. I mean, he'll be like, to be honest with you, I'm not going to be able to get to it until a certain day. Yeah. And instead of being like, yeah, drop it off and we'll, we'll take it apart. And then, yeah. and then you're in a bind because you already had an appointment to go do something mm -hmm. with your truck. And then because of that, you weren't able to do it. So. Just being honest, and um, one one thing that comes to mind is whenever we do make mistakes, because we are not a perfect shop, we yeah. do make mistakes, and it's very important that to own up to it, own right? up to it, and fix them. Yeah, we've made big mistakes, <laughs> costing thousands of dollars, yeah. and I think starting last year, remember last year the the last day of the year, December? the last day of the year, we were replacing the turbo. <laughs> And I guess we were just in a hurry to go home, celebrate the New Year's. Mm -hmm. And there was some oil left in the air-to-air, -air, and that engine ran away. That means that the engine revved up to I don't know how many RPMs, and it just totaled the engine. Mm -hmm. And that's the way we ended our 2017, and we started at 2018. Mm -hmm. And um, it was to a very good customer of ours, a longtime customer, but we got past that and we fixed it and everything, yeah. I mean, went well after that. We had a really good 2018. Mm -hmm. And that customer kept coming. coming. 
Oh he, yeah, he, he we told him about it. We were honest about it. He was his truck was supposed to be ready the next, or it was already ready, but we had to give him a call and let him know that. <laughs> Yeah. So and so happened, and he's not gonna have his truck till maybe what another week it was. Yeah, I mean it, it was more than that to be honest, but I mean he was able to understand, mm-hmm. and I mean things happen. Yeah, and I mean what do you do? <laughs> what do you do? Yeah, you just try and fix it and get past it. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna happen, even little things that are are leaving. I don't know, leaving something disconnected and. The customer comes back angry. You're, you're like, you know what? It, it, we did leave it disconnected. I'm sorry. We apologize. Uh, we'll make sure to pay more attention next time. Because it does happen. You're, you're not that you're distracted, but there's so many components in, in what you're doing. Sometimes you're taking off something, but you have to take the whole dashboard apart. That it's you hard might to... forget something, or you might get distracted, and somebody yeah. asks you a question, and then. Yeah. But that's just a bunch of excuses. I mean, we to. To get back to the point, one of the things that we actually do almost on every truck, Uh doesn't matter the size of the repair, is we always test drive our trucks. I mean, it's either senior or me, junior. Mm -hmm. We get in the truck and we drive them. Mm -hmm. And with the experience that we have, you're going to be sure that if we were to notice something that might put you in a bad spot down the road, we're going to let you know. I mean, even if it's something that we don't deal with like let's say you have a bad tire yeah. you have something your brakes are out of adjustment yeah. we'll let you know if you want to get a fix we'll go ahead and fix it yeah. and it's more of a customer service thing that's the way we look at it mm-hmm. quality control customer service instead of upselling we're yeah. not thinking about upselling but i mean you need it done anyway yeah. so we go ahead and do it yeah and then if the customer's happy if even if it's just a, a, an oil change, but they're happy with the, the way they were treated, they're get, eventually going to come back. Because we have a lot of customers that are not even from El Paso, but they make it a point to book a trip or book a, a, a load that passes through El Paso just so they could stop at our, our shop and then continue. Yeah. That, that they mean. make arrangements like in weeks in advance just so they could pass through here through I-10, uh, through Texas, just so they could stop at our shop because of that customer service because of of pretty much the way that senior deals with them and Mm -hmm. i mean he'll listen to them and and sometimes him and i i mean we're not on the same page but he'll spend a day Mm -hmm. with the customer that's out in the middle of nowhere trying to help him over the phone Mm -hmm. and nine times out of ten he'll go ahead and uh he'll get the truck started over the phone and i mean there is I've been in the situation where I've been stranded Mm -hmm. and when somebody tries and helps you and I mean, it's just, um, they're basic, basically, uh, we can't help you just call tow truck. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, he just rescued them Mm -hmm. and now they're able to move to the next closest place where they can get their truck serviced or Mm -hmm. maybe they can drive all the way back to El Paso. Mm -hmm. And I mean, customers are very thankful of that. Yeah. And that's yeah. that's why our M and M truck shop is so successful because of little things like that. Yeah. And then a lot of times when they call call you back and they say, or they'll text you. Not I even, mean, there's no better paycheck than yeah, that. Yeah, and it, it, it's been times because I've answered the phone because um, I, I work in the office. I'm not <laughs> I'm not <laughs> in the shop, but it, it's stressful. It's stressful to be in there. But anyways, maybe that's another topic. Yeah, that'll be another um, episode. I've answered the phone where they're asking and calling for senior, and I'm. And a lot of the times he's out test driving a truck or he's with a customer or he was uh, helping out a mechanic. And I asked him, do you want me to uh, have him call you back? And they're like, no, 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 no. I just want to say thank you. And I'm really appreciative of everything he did. The wor- the truck is working like it's never been working. It's like new, better than new. And it's it, it feels good, even though it's not directly towards me. It's Well, I guess it is towards me because it's part of the part of the shop. Yeah, I mean, we're all part of the team. But it feels good <laughs> to be like you said, it's more gratifying than the paycheck a lot of the times yeah i mean and i remember clearly one day i i, I knew it was a holiday and my it, it was already closing and my dad was um he asked me if i could stay a little longer to close the shop because he was going to go i don't know we're out of town um not out of town but i, I know it was at least 100 miles from from el paso because he was going to go help one of our customers because that customer 
had to be at his city because his son was going to graduate, I think, from the military or, or I don't know, but he was going to graduate. And I asked him, how come you go, like, do you have a family too? You need to think <laughs> about yourself. He's like, yeah, but I remember when I was young, during this time, I would go out drinking. So if I could do that, why can't I help this person? Yeah. And I'm like, wow. That, yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. it's hard. I mean, that's a whole nother topic, like you said, but. Like um, when, when, when do I you remember, draw the line? I remember like a Father's Day. Yeah. And Father's Day is on Sunday. Mm-hmm. So um, one of our good customers, and you probably know who you are. Um, you'll probably be listening. Uh, his truck got struck by lightning. Uh, and my dad, on on that Saturday, he decided to go help him. And I was pissed mm -hmm. because, I, I mean, he's my dad, and I wanted to spend time, spend with, time him. with him and everything. But he, was, he wasn't thinking about himself. He was thinking about go helping this guy who's mm -hmm. our customer and and wow, I mean, what a great yeah. what a great, you know. <laughs> it takes, I wish I had that kind of a mechanic. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, it's 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 tough too cuz when do you cross like when do you draw the line? You know, it's and a lot of times he <laughs> he goes over that line even though he knows that maybe he should but he still Yeah, he's, he's a cool dude. I mean, Mhm. Mm and and uh, what's weird is sometimes um, I'll be out there on on the field and I need to talk to him to ask him a question about whatever I'm fixing and he's too busy to answer <laughs> to answer my call and I mean that's the way I learn too you know mm -hmm. if he's too busy to answer my call I mean I pretty much I got to figure out by yeah. myself and that's that's uh, another way that I've learned. Over the years to work on trucks and everything, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a lesson. You figure it out and you'll never forget it. Yeah, that's... you'll figure it out because, I mean, mm -hmm. that's all you got. Yeah. So pretty much, I think, for um, how do you pick your, your, your shop is, is just analyzing how, 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 like you said, when people recommend uh, little things to look out, how is... Um, to, to see if they're organized, um, look at the shop. If you if you end up going and driving up to the shop, look how neatly they're not just so neatly, but if they're clean or they're organized and how do they handle even I, I, even too like I don't know how you feel about this, but being dressed appropriately. Yeah, I mean being being dressed and being well groomed and uh -huh. everything. Yeah, I think it's, it tells a lot about not. I don't know for. I don't know how to explain it, but for some reason, it's it's if they have the time to to wear the right boots or wear a uniform, I think it tells a lot about a person. But that's just me. I don't know if it's just me or do you feel the same way? No, I feel the same way. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, you have to look like a mechanic, mm -hmm. but you don't have to look like a homeless. You <laughs> yeah, know, uh -huh. I mean, you've got to be clean in the morning. You yeah. know, take pride in your. You work. don't want to smell like. I'll like you're hungover, or yeah, and it matters to me. It does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and it's hard to, as a running a, a shop, it's it's hard to do all those things, all those things, because at the end of the day, you're tired, and you know you just want to get home, and then the next day you wake up tired, and you know you have to go cut your hair, or you have to do do this and that. But um, People do look at, look for those things, and they pay attention to those things. Yeah, and I mean, and to us, I mean, for the most part at the shop, it comes natural because that's just the way we were brought up. Mm -hmm. That's just the way. That's the example uh, our dad shows, too. Yeah, the boss. The boss. The boss, he's our dad, but he's a boss, and, and there's mm -hmm. more. We have more coworkers, and yeah. it applies for them, too. Yeah, it's also, too, because you, you see a mechanic, and you see him dirty and full of dirt in his back because you get under these trucks and there's full of dirt or full of oil in, in the back and you you think to yourself is he gonna get in, inside my truck when I, i've been taking care of my truck this whole time and then here comes a mechanic sitting in the seat that i that, that this is like that my my job that's my that's where i work that's my yeah you don't want a big i mean blob of grease right uh -huh. there wherever you're gonna be sitting mm -hmm. and we do get dirty you know 
it, it, it is a dirty job, like we said earlier, but we wi wipe our hands. Yeah. And but to me, it's just common sense. If you have common sense to know that you're not supposed to, you, 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 you don't just dirty someone else's truck. I think it's just common sense. If he doesn't have common sense to do that, what makes you think he's going to have common sense to make sure everything is is repaired the way it should or double checked the way it should? So I think it goes hand in hand. If he has a the time and he has a, the what's it called, the common sense to do that then more often than not then he has the common sense for for mo most of everything else yeah i mean even the little stuff i mean like i said earlier we do test drive our our mm -hmm. trucks and the guys already know <laughs> we don't want to see their hands their dirty hands because i mean they're dirty and they're climbing out of the truck in and out under the truck closing the hood whatever mm -hmm. Whenever they close that hood, they have to wipe it off. Yeah. Whenever we finish a job, we have to pressure wash the engine. Yeah. Those are the little things that separate us from all the other shops out there. Yeah, I mean, from the, from the big companies. yeah, I mean, there's really good shops out there and there's really good mechanics that have their own shops. But I mean, I guess it's just the experience, the presentation. The combination of everything we just talked about is what separates us from from other shops. And we're not the perfect shop. Mm -hmm. We don't make mistakes and we can't make everybody happy. But we do we do uh, try and and improve mm -hmm. and and be. We try and think of ourselves as the next best shop under the dealer. Mm -hmm. If not the best, <laughs> if not the best, I mean, we've heard horror stories about dealerships, and I'm sure everyone listening knows or has a personal horror. You story. probably, yeah. If mm -hmm. you're listening, you probably have a story or you heard of a story about a dealership, and mm -hmm. and you probably heard a story about other shops or our shop, whatever. But the thing is, whenever we do make a mistake, we try and fix it and learn from it and learn from it and not make the mistake again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I guess this is our first episode. This is our first episode. I mean, we have a bunch of interesting topics that yeah. we're going to be talking about. And send us your questions. Mm -hmm. We want to talk about everything, whether it be business and in this business and like dealing with your, your time management. You have a family, but you work and you want to strive in your career, but you also need to take care of your kids and uh, stuff like that. Uh, even fitness. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's hard to be healthy and be a truck yeah, driver or be or, a mechanic, you yeah. know. And um, one of the things that I really want to talk about is mm -hmm. uh, having a family business because oh, yeah. it's hard. It's super <laughs> It's very hard, but it's very rewarding. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, real quick. So the way we have it right now, I mean, a lot of the times I don't even see my brother and we work in the same. <laughs> we work together, but separate. Not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that's helped. Uh, but you guys can hear our stories and hear from our experiences. You guys can learn from us or um, see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be sure to follow us on social well, media. Yeah. So we don't know what this is going to be called. By the time this is up, it'll we'll have a name. But yeah, you, you guys have any ideas or any any comments, any questions, any suggestions? Sure. We're also planning on later on down the road is we're going to be not only taking calls, but yeah. if you want, I mean, we're busy. We don't have an exact time, mm -hmm. but uh, we can give you a call and we can talk about whatever, mm -hmm. you know, Yeah, whatever's maybe going could, on out there on the road. Maybe, maybe we could get a truck running live on the, on yeah. the podcast. Yeah, call us and we'll help you over the phone, over the podcast. Uh -huh. And I mean, hopefully we can help you get to the next nearest <laughs> shop. Yeah. Cool. All right. We'll see you next time. Laters. Laters.